Hey, good morning, YouTube. Do a quick video. It's December the 21st, and uh, I decided to come out and go camping last night. Just want to do a small video and tell y'all about some of the stuff that I used and about what's been going on. Uh, I've gotten into another another small hobby that I've been probably doing all my life. So that that kind of got me a. Uh, uh, busy, you know, and uh, I've just I've been doing it, but it's just a matter that I've uh, you know, kind of kind of got back into it. And uh, but anyway, we had a pretty good night camping. The temperature, believe it or not, in the middle of December, I think either yesterday or today is the first day of winter, and it was 70 70 degrees yesterday. It got down to about I don't know, I want to say 60 last night or early this morning. And, uh, but anyway, my sleep, what I brought out here to sleep in was the cold weather uh, bag for the MSSR. And I found out I should have never brought it. I should have brought the patrol bag instead because that bag I, I found out, unless it's down to 40 degrees or below, that, that you don't need that bag because I actually got hot in it. I had to open the bottom zipper up so I could get some air in into it. I even come out of all my clothes that got so hot in it. Uh, I will say this about it though. To me, it's uncomfortable. The, the foot box just isn't uh, big enough. I know with the old, uh, the old down sleeping bags, I always had to get a, a extra large whenever I got it. So, because of the way I sleep, I reckon, because I like my feet, my legs open. So, and anyway, I, these may come in different sizes too, I don't know, but, but the one I got just don't seem, seem like it's big enough. And also, uh, I brought my air mattress. I got a Coleman single air mattress. I brought it out because uh, I, like, I like sleeping in comfort. In other words, if I'm going to be out in the woods walking and, and messing around, chopping and cutting all day that I want to be comfortable whenever I sleep anyway I'll turn it around around here so you can see see why I slept I actually didn't need the air mattress because my uh, my browse bed was still still pretty much put together I did take it apart but I didn't uh, I didn't scatter out all the all the pine needles so I could have actually just slept on it <coughs> excuse me but anyway Here's what I'm sleeping on. The blanket that you see is uh, is Brandy's is Brandy's blanket. She she had to have her a blanket. Of course, I kept her covered up. I don't know if you can see that up in there or not, but you can see the air mattress and you can see the see the uh, the bag. Of course, you do see my pillow up in there. I got a pillow. And that hanging off the tarp. That's a that's a little little flashlight. My watch and uh. And my thermometer, I like keeping that at the head of my bed, so that way I know, know I've got a little light at night time, plus I can see what time it is. And uh, Brandy and I, we just got through walking down to the river. And so I tried to give her some food, get her to eat and drink some water, but she ain't interested in it right now. There's apparently there's somebody down there camping at the lake, and they've been shooting. I think they're shooting a 357 or or 40 millimeter. I don't, I don't know what they shooting but uh or a 40 caliber not 40 millimeter but a 40 caliber either way it's pretty loud and i i was hoping they shooting into the bank of the 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 lake down there and not shooting up this way but anyway there's brandy she's still half asleep she's tired from her walk <laughs> and uh i'm gonna show you this too that the i brought out a found found a grill that i've had that i used to use on my on my grill that I used to cook fish on and uh, it worked pretty good out here I just put some some bailing wire on it and, and hung it down over the fire I don't have the fire going this morning because the winds winds up pretty pretty high if you know anything about pine needles they don't take nothing to catch pine needles on fire and uh, this area looks like it could stand to be underbrush burned, but I ain't going to be the one who does it because I don't want to have to be paying no big fine having to call the fire department. I did I did bring out some, some wood last night myself, and uh, 
Of course, I, I chopped quite a bit. And there's my wood pile. You can see the little wood pile. I don't have too much wood left. I had about, uh, between them two trees, I had about four foot. Yeah, I'd probably say it's between four, four and a half foot piled. So I, I burnt quite a bit last night. We cooked, uh, I cooked pork chops and, and boiled potatoes and some collard greens. And Brandy, Brandy had her regular. She had her gizzards. And so that was pretty, pretty much the, the same meal I would have had if I was at home. It don't take too much. It's cooking over a fire to me is the same as, as cooking in a, on a stove. You know, the only thing I got to kind of learn, I got to do a little bit more baking because, you know, the... Of course, I don't eat that much that much baked stuff. I would like to come out here and try some kind of baked pizza on the uh, fire. I've never tried that before. And let me see the cutlery tools, cutting tools I, I brought this time with me. Uh, I got this uh, new parang, the bushcraft parang. Uh, chopped with it a little bit yesterday. I'm pretty impressed with the sharpness of it and the weight of it. But... And it's still I got still got some more time before I ever before I decide on how I like this thing it, it It's a chopper and one thing I do like about it. You can use it as a draw knife that I like about it and plus uh Making uh feather sticks. It makes great feather sticks because it's easy as you can see it It comes real sharp, but it looks like to me. It's gonna be pretty easy to sharpen too with all the wood uh all the wood I cut yesterday, I don't see no no nicks or anything in it, so that's a good thing. And also, I brought my I brought my my brother's a bushcraft knife. I don't use it too much because I, I normally use uh I no, normally use the uh, bushman. I like the the cold steel bushman. I I like that that knife. And anyway, put this back in here. See any other thing that I did different? I didn't really do nothing else, no different than what I what I normally do. Got my regular tarp and size air mattress. That's about it. Brandy, she's down here falling asleep on me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna back up and give you an overall picture of my little campsite. Probably the same as what you've always seen. But anyway, I think we all like to show our campsites, and I know I do. So here's a picture of my campsite. You can see you see what's going on there. Got a tripod. Don't oh I did bring bring my chair. I did bring my my I did bring my camping chair instead of uh making my body bag chair. So that's pretty you know that was a little bit more comfortable. I do have my body bag with me and my tripod. But anyway, I hear somebody back here hollering or something. I wanna see what see what's going on. Anyway, y'all have a great day and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you if I don't talk to you again before then. And y'all have a great, great time. Hope you get everything you want for Christmas. All the bushcraft stuff and all the camping and outdoor stuff you, you're hoping for. Okay, y'all take care.